What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Paramotor Crazy. I am at the Dave Purden Fly-In. This has been an epic week from getting my Maverick Adam 80 motor to uh, some other things that went on throughout the week. I'll talk about that in a little bit. To being here at the Fly-In. I'm here with mostly all the Michigan folks uh, sleeping next to me off camera. Here is Mike Cotter. Right? There he is. And, uh, but all the Michigan guys have been great. Uh, a bunch of the guys from Ohio all over, even Bad Apples. But uh, we're gonna get into the video. I'll start with the takeoff from, shh, someone's driving by on the trike in the video, sorry. There he goes. But uh, starting with uh, today's flight, uh, just an absolutely majestic area. If you ever get a chance to come down to the Dave Purden Fly-In, I definitely recommend it. And also, please remember, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notified anytime a new video comes out. Also, if you are subscribing today, please put in the comments what number subscriber you are to this channel. I love seeing that. The first person that did that was Kyle Lowe back in January of this year, and he was number 86 or 87, and uh, it was really kind of cool to see that, so I'd love to know what number you are. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get to this video. We are at Cape Purden's Flying, about to make our first launch. about uh now it's not as busy as i thought it would be it's probably only about 20 pilots flying right now we had a so there's one right there and there's another one right over there it's kind of hard to see down there got one up ahead over here oh look look at that ugly devil What's up? <laughs> so i gotta try to find mike connor so i've got the smoke grenade right here on the end of this uh, pvc pipe and I was going to try to make a smoke circle and Mike was going to fly through it. I just, I don't know where he's at. He maybe launched maybe a minute before me. Alright, I'm going for it. Not the bridge. I'm going to go fly over Kentucky. I'm going over the Ohio River. Ah, this is crazy. Please, motor, don't quit on me now. <laughs> I won't go under the bridge, I promise. <laughs> Look at this. Better get some altitude because I'm going right into these clouds here. So if I don't touch down in Kentucky, can I still say I flew over Kentucky? Put that on the list. Coming over the clouds. And I am officially on the Kentucky side. This is 
amazing. You can see all the cars and all the RVs and trailers are lined up right down there. So, there you go. Ohio River, Kentucky. West Portsmouth in Ohio and the Dave Purton flying. So let's take a few minutes and talk about my Adam 80 and this whole last week. It's been crazy, interesting, I don't know what you want to call it, but I was very excited, got a notification on Monday that my Adam 80 was delivered, so I rushed home. Oh, what is this? Tyrajet Maverick! I'm so happy. I'm going to cry. I love it. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> so I get my Adam 80 together and then uh, had to go out that night to uh, another uh, sales appointment. And on the way home, I crashed my car. I was on a little back road in Indiana, very thin road. Uh, I was coming around a left-hand turn, so I was on the outside of the turn, and uh, I believe another car was coming at me. It was just happening so fast, so of course your natural instinct is give them a little more room so you don't hit each other head-on. And when I did that, the passenger side tire uh, dipped down off the edge. There was no soft shoulder and that dipped down about four inches and that pulled the car to the right Took me straight down into a ditch and wrapped it around a utility pole So here's some aftermath pictures Of all the damage Oops. So in all the damage uh, the airbags deployed uh, I was okay. I escaped with really a jammed finger, which is fine now, and uh, two small scratches. But when I opened my eyes, and this is after the airbags deployed, and I looked around and I realized what was happening, sadly to say, and this is just kind of, maybe this is how a paramotor pilot's brain really works, my first thought was, if I can't walk away from this accident, at least I still have a trike, I can still fly. Yeah, I know, it's stupid. But that was my first thought. So next day we went out and looked for a car. I got the exact same thing, just a couple years newer. Uh, got my motor broken in on Wednesday. Friday picked up the car, got a trailer hitch on it, and that's how I got here. It's a Dave Purden's flying. So I don't know if we're going to make the maiden voyage of this uh, of this new motor today or not simply because it's a flying. You got a lot of people flying around. It's probably not the safest place to uh, try to learn how to foot launch. I've made, I think, seven flights so far. But uh, nonetheless, you know, if I'm still learning and bringing that wing up and that's a new motor and that's a wing I haven't flown yet, then uh, it's probably not a safe idea. So we'll see. Might do it anyways. I'm gonna practice this afternoon just kiting with the motor on my back see how that goes. I don't know, we might be too close to Florida down here near Kentucky. There might be some gators in here. Who knows? If I ever find a gator, I'm going to name it Ricky Davies. Ricky Davies! Ricky Davies!
she got soaked. <laughs> That is a crazy foot track right there. David Wolf blowing some smoke. He cray cray. That boy is sheer cray cray. He looked like he burning up. That boy burning from the back, right in the butt. That boy burning himself up. You see that boy? He crazy. That boy crazy. I don't know where he got that from, that smoke bomb, but it is not worth a dollar. Look it. It doesn't even look like he's smoking. Maybe he going too fast. Oh, wait a second. Maybe, maybe he going too fast. He probably going too fast for that smoke. But boy, oh boy, I'd go down to Walmart and get myself a refund. Because that was absolutely horrible. I'll tell you. Horrible. Bup 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 There it goes Oh Damn it Not a pretty landing Not a rotor Hi guys, it's Kevin here with the GPPA. I'm here with my new student. What's your name again? What? What? What's your name again? Oh, hold on, let me turn down my music. Oh yeah, turn that off. Turn that off. Make okay. sure you got it all the way up in the air because your engine's gonna be loud. You don't want to have it not on. Okay, I can hear you. All right, what's Hi. the name? Uh, Bob. Okay, we got Steve here. Steve's gonna be flying with us today. We're on a BGD Luna 20. This is a great beginner wing for him. This is his first flight ever. First flight. I don't know. He's got the new GPPA electric slash hybrid paramotor on his back so we're gonna go um some basics this is what's called our ex express course you know he hasn't flown before he wants to get in the air right away so we're gonna do a 30 minute course you don't have to worry about anything thank you i'm gonna do my music back on yeah turn right. music got it off so the express course we try to take it as minimal as possible with the student we're not going to teach him brake lines steering clouds gravity anything our goal is to get him in the air and get him on the ground slap a sticker on him he becomes a pilot right so listen you what? don't have to do anything. I got it all for I, you, okay? I heard. Don't push anything, don't grab anything. You just run. When I say run, you run. It's easy, okay? I've seen it. So let me see here. We gotta start this bad boy up somehow. Hey, I don't want your arms getting in the prop. Keep it across. All right, here we go. Clear prop. All right, so I'm gonna pull your wing up for you. I'm gonna run and throw you and you're gonna take off, okay? Got it? What? You got it, good job. All right, here we go. 